Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome to Control, a action-adventure game, which tells us nothing, set in something analogous to the SCP Foundation, which tells me everything I need to know to know I want to play this game. Now, there's been enough time for the expansion to come out already, and I'm very curious about this name, the Foundation, the SCP Foundation, perhaps? Hmm? Question mark? Question mark? I'm understanding that this is not actually the SCP Foundation, but someplace similar to it. The Bureau of Control is my understanding. Also, this has one of my favorite audio options, just as a guy doing YouTube. Uh, oh, mute copyrighted music. I wish every game had this feature. But that is neither here nor there. We're going to start from the beginning, and I'm well aware of that. Don't worry, there wasn't much progress to overwrite. We just saw that there was a creepy janitor, and that was about it. Movement is critical to avoid sustained damage. This is going to be weirder than usual. Oh? Can't be helped. If you say so, Jesse. You called me. So here I am. Yeah, but who am I, though? Hmm. I know I shut you out sometimes. Uh -huh. I'm always glad to hear from you. Mm. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. Uh huh. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. Interesting symbol the there. And the poster. You want to tell the me more about something nice? That? A landscape, a famous person, like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption. The room's a cell, and the mm -hmm. picture—it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. Uh-huh. They're lying to us. Who's we're lying to you, Jesse? To ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Don't fully know myself. I also don't know who I am. And... Hello? This may yeah, be... I see it. But what is it? I can feel it. It resonates. Hmm. The things you show me, my friend. I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Yeah, that's weird. Is that... Following me? Where's everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. I'm also trying to figure out... What kind of metal thing... Well, I guess the belt, maybe? Curious. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited, materi prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils, any object... Considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. E.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Huh, the Federal Bureau of Control. And there's some symbolism here. Key, sword, a prism. Invenio Investigato Imperium. I wish I had more Latin in my brain. 
I think it's investigating empirical evidence or something. Like, I don't know quite how that translates. Still. God, this is a beautiful game. And it's running oddly well. Like, I even have, like, I'm just going to show you real quick. Like, all the settings are up pretty high. I mean, except for global reflections, but I don't really care about reflections at all, so. There we are. I'm told this game does have a bit of a performance problem, or at least did on launch. I'm kind of watching out for that, but... This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why don't you read it, though? Read about staffing, surveillance, data center initiative, construction, censored, censored, minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, blank, mold removal, HQ livability costs, see page 5, five year comparison, see page 9. Okay, can I see that, though? Also, they said something about all the smart devices not being, like, available or allowed in here. Okay, am I going to be chased by something? Well, doesn't seem like. Hmm, a bit of weird texture popping going on there. Our bureau are at work, and it's just a janitor. The back of a janitor, at that. Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Hmm. Strange. No, oh, that little texture's a little bit off. Weird. Director Zachariah Trench. You got me curious. Very, very curious. Hmm. Federal Bureau of Control. Yep, that's the name. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Yeah, just in a plain building, too. What's that? Oh, vending machine with... Mmm. Pretzels, crackers, protein, fibers, protein, protein, fibers, trail mix. Hmm, okay. Like, is it just that any brands are just not... For one thing, that's kind of cute, actually, just generic brands instead of actual made-up brands, but also concerning in a... Hello. Concerning in a sense of, you know... Why, though? Blah, blah, blah. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill, good luck. Yeah. This does feel very SCP Foundation-y. After a major disaster, I'm assuming, because there's nobody here. R4 reports? As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department, department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Uh-huh. Notice they're not using specific names. At least for the admin team. Hello? And yep. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Sup? Bum. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. Mm -hmm. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. Uh -huh. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, 
I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Yeah, probably. Also, I'm thinking, did we just do a whole loop around here? Hmm. And why? There was a picture there a minute ago. I'm not crazy. There was. But yeah, didn't this... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, this is where we just were. Yeah, the entrance. How did he do that? Take down the picture without me noticing. Huh. Okay. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. That seems like a bad thing if things are crawling Will through. You help? I mean, to a degree, I am the person in charge of your movement, apparently. Huh. You have me very intrigued, Control. High peri utilitary. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Go back. Something about a crucible? After action reports. Ooh. We have me interested. Northlight leadership. Huh. Spread of control. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Well, that doesn't look good. Required to. Director by Mikhail Kasurinen. Story by Sam Lake. Alright, Control. Let's see what you got. And this is about where I left off. Did I lose you there for a moment? A little bit, yeah. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. I do now, but also... 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Is that him? I mean, we're going to be keeping an eye out for Dylan, but, like... I can't help but think that they might have been making the right choice in taking them. I wish you wouldn't do that, but yes. Proof terminology. Reminder. While pending any notification of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words phrase to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, wound, proud, pride will be remembered. Words slash phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. Alaska, scissors, bleeding. Uh-huh. Any way to turn that off, by the way? No? Cool. That's fine. Okay. Apparently don't have clearance level for that. Hello, Trench. How's things? Nope. Yep. Trench, do not disturb. I'm not to be disturbed. Kits all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. Can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Well, that's probably fine. It's probably fine. I mean, we did just see someone putting a gun to their head just a moment ago in the... Shit. Yep. Shit, shit, shit. Shit indeed. You well, Jesse. Can it up? The murder weapon? Really? I don't. But apparently I do. Uh, well, are we going to talk about that? Also, not a murder weapon, he committed suicide. Wait. Ah, I'm already paranatural. I can... Yes. Perfection. Ha ha! But yes, let's pick up the gun. This seems normal. Gun sword slash intentionally left blank. Your application will be processed. And there goes the poster. Uh -huh. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. 
ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Only the director can bind the service weapon and live slash die. This is your ritual slash challenge. You must choose to be the chosen one. Look at this place. Where am I? Interesting. Leave the astral plane challenge. Bubblegum slash Polaroid. Um. Hmm. House slash prison you occupy, huh? Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. This will end well. Yo. Yes. I am as a god. Uh, also, I'm going to need to change that binding, but that's neither here nor there. Control the gun slash house. So the gun is the house? Or they're connected somehow? Curious. Okay. Now I have a gun. The gun. Also, the gun is reacting weirdly. I'm sorry, earn slash become the position? Could you stop that? My aim is very bad, sir. Is there something written on the barrel of the gun? Curious. Regenerates ammunition automatically, which is very nice, I must say. Huh. Do you love me a mystery? Bam! Right in the chest. Bam! I actually like this little strategy of just backing away and then come on, recharge a little bit faster. Bam! In the meantime, punch! Don't get me wrong, the gun is cool and all, but also, I have this ability, and it's awesome. Oh, and I'm actually, like, the damage I'm doing is actually sticking around, too. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, bye. Anybody else? Anybody else? Not sure what these blue... Oh, health elements, perhaps. You, we, wield the gun, slash you. The board appoints you. Uh-huh. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? I heard most of it. It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. Yeah, a little bit odd, wasn't that? And this gun's alive. I mean, you it's moving. What? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Yeah, you really look happy, too. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Uh, probably not. Tab to toggle map. Oh. What's that? Wait, Federal Bureau of Control Headquarters. Okay, yeah. Oh! I mean, they're targetable, so I assume I should target them. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. Yeah, but how do I stop it? You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. How do I make it stop? Let this happen! You can't let this happen. Okay. You stopped it. Did I now? You... Oh, thank you. That was... Hate oh. drowning. Something about hate drowning and... Yeah, I ain't even let you... Cool how they die, though. Uh, yeah, you wanna... Like a little mist going around the place. Weird. Very, very weird. 
cool, but very... Um... Notice the texture popping, but also, uh... <laughs> Jesse fade in. Ha! Ah, and the poster faded in. Ha 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 ha. He 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 ho ho ho. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into settings to see about that texture fade in and pop in. But anyway... Huh. This is so weird. And I love it. The hotline. What about the hotline? Secure line of communication. Guide us. Okay. Oh! Reach the hotline. Wait, I can do that out here now too? Awesome. You guys are fucked. Okay, I'm also destroying these desks a little bit. Hey! And what now, friend? Uh, oh. Oh. Um. Uh. Can I help you? Oh. Like, it let me shoot at him, but... I don't know if I should, or... I'm gonna shoot his leg. Okay. I don't know if that was a good thing I just did or not, but I'm gonna say that it was, probably. Is this gonna be some multi-world kind of nonsense, or...? Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, Follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Uh huh. Thank you for your attention. Uh huh. I see. I see. Well, interesting. Fascinating. Um, oh, and they have a little pneumatic tube system, too. Aww. I'm sorry, what's that whispering about? The whispering that is in my voice? Or Jesse's voice, I should say? Don't let mold hit your ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. Okay. Mold's apparently a bigger problem than... You would th Oh. I don't know if I'm doing a good thing or a bad thing by doing this. But... Undefined reading. What? It's a material. I don't have clearance level. But it's an asset. Okay. I'm going to just leave the rest of them. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Uh-huh. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Okay. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Well, you've officially got me freaked out. Thanks. Oh, I can just turn it on and off. Why would I... Ooh, computer. Eh. Must do tech stuff to it. And we walked away. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't... Is this your voices? Residence surrounds permission. In the name of the son of... I'm trying to get more of that. Like, what they're saying is not helping. Or I'm not really able to do it anyway. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. Rela what? How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Ah, I see. 
We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem anomalous, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar's psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet. Then, bleh, immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Hmm. Okay. Something about a... Tell me more. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blank, informed by our own blank, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially blit in popular culture using blit, our bureau-made anthology television program. Hmm. Interesting. Might have chosen the wrong reference with the SCP Foundation might be thinking Black Mirror or American Horror Story or a few others. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranormal phenomena contain certain element, clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on bleh, a pair of scissors that consume human bleh, through two punctures on the bleh. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 49369424 report. I would like the full report of this because this is the sort of stuff I love to read about. How do I get where I need to go? I want to be down there where the horrible monstrosity thing is, but, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, this was a choice I made. No! Yeah, until something stops me, I am going to just keep going it. Oh, oh, um, sorry, what? You're just second class Pulaski? Pulaski? Pulkowski? Okay, that changes things a bit. Hmm, okay, yeah, I'm low on health all of a sudden. How do I get more health? Uh, undefined reading. Okay, okay, I have to actually pay attention on this one. Eh, yeah, we're gonna just roll you around. Ah, balls. Okay. Okay. What? Yes, I got that. Thank you. Lens the control point. How? Mean. Help me fix it. Okay. Apparently, I can do do this. Um. Okay. Evidently, this is a control point for the... The house? The... Holy oh. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? I can. I don't know where you are. Are you with us? Yes. With the are you still sane? Maybe. Oh. Outfits? Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Where... Please, talk to me. Where we are... You deal with the compromised agents. Oh, there you are. Thanks, me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? No. Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. I'm sorry, what? You sure that's a good idea? I don't know how to be a director here. Ooh, can I have that gun? Well, actually, I suppose mine's a some sort of supernatural. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Huh. 
Look, somehow, this hostile force, this... Hiss? That works. Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just... Please talk more, much. actually. Um, Trench is dead. Yeah, he's super Trapped. dead. Ah. Uh, by the gun. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also... And this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. I have questions about up, how the shelter works. He told me works. to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? Yes. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A jam Through the door? Like I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. A couple thousand, actually, but, you know. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not I don't yet. really care about Dylan, truth be told. But, but there's uh, something I need to ask you to do first. Well, sure. If you can cleanse a control point then you can maybe cure those infected or Ooh. possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. The thing is, I shot them. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. Yeah, she's, she's kind of cute, too. of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. I mean, they just kidnapped I your brother. I trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. How would I'm I even speaking for you, of course. Start. We can try it together. Thank you for speaking for me. Also, how do I know you? Okay. You with me? Nope. We did it before. Push the hiss out. Yeah, but before we do that. Control points. Yes, tell me more. Control points are located in the bureau that has or locations that the bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house, oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the bleh, arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by mm, a detection of an unobstructed ping using the bleh, within a 37 foot radius. Numerous re researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or meridians, I'm gonna assume, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that Control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be... Mm, refer to file 7252788 for a full report. Interesting. Also, I should probably look into case files. Oh! The service weapon. Object of power 1, KE. No unique procedures required for containment procedures. Ooh, interesting. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to... Mm. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of... Bleh. The object will determine whether... Bleh. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. The process is dictated by the... Bleh. Board, through their though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis... Bleh. Many forms throughout history. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Verunastra, all weapons that bleh, of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, bleh, see Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 .1 for more details. Can I find uh, Emily? You said you're his assistant. Can I get in on that whole... How does this do? Oh! Bye! <laughs> yeah, let me let me uh, cure that hiss agent first, though. Hiss corrupted agent, though. 
Uh, or at least we'll give it a shot. Of course, I've been shooting all the other ones, so I kind of feel real bad about that now. If this works. I hope it doesn't. Uh, I think that his is winning out here. Well, the good news is she. Oh, never mind. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Yeah, apparently rips them out. Like, rips their reality apart, too. Didn't mention that. Where are you? Oh, hi. Yeah, we should really get right on that. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Could Thank you explain you what that was, though? Jesse. Also, what's I'm the symbol on your? I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The bureau was involved in an uh -huh. incident in my hometown, ordinary, seventeen years ago. What? The bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. Uh huh. I've been looking for this place for a long time. Side note, Ordinary? That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. The town of Ordinary? I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. It'd be nice I've if you did. I've seen mentions of an Altered World event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. Mm-hmm. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. If you My could. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Suspicious. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He or caused. The HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. Hedron Resonance. And Director you Trench say. would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Oh. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part <laughs> in of the, the mail room? So we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's uh -huh. head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Hmm. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Evidence says otherwise. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Just parts of it. Also, we have a connection to something. I'm not sure what yet. Well, this is so much more interesting than I thought it was. Well, I thought it was going to be interesting, but I mean... Huh. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. I would like to know Tom's everything. The department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Wait. Had a thought. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Okay, cool. Uh, Luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thank you. Th Thanks, Emily. You done? 
Cool. Had a thought, though. Past memory, undefined reading, hidden trend. Uh, there was something... Yes, because we got things. Weapon armor damage. Uh-huh. And personal mods. Health recovery, health boost. I'd rather have the extra health, honestly. Unlock by upgrading. Unlock by upgrading. Hmm. And this is just level one, so it, in theory, could be improved. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And the person you should fail is yourself. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege. A hiss guard. Ooh, a hiss agent. This manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is in the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? Which is what I would suspect. When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss residents, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged hiss corruption? Does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did, this, did the hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it's obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file bleh for a full report. By order of Director Jesse Faden. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, we're going to ask you a bunch of questions, but we're going to leave that for next episode. I am so glad I've started this. Oh, so many stories to be extracted from this place. Mm. And there's just that fascinating mystery of, well, first of all, objects of power. I would like to know more about them. And I also want to know more about these hiss, what exactly they are, and what exactly I am as compared to... Oh, hello. Previous directors. Yeah, because you can see Trench up there, which means that there were at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 predecessors. We're number 14. Huh. Also, first female director. Go us. Huh. But this and more will be reserved for the future. For now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon, and we'll investigate that noise. After asking Emily a few more questions. Bye-bye for now.